Yo, what's up, y'all? Surreal303. Another vid. Probably the last video of the night. Um, this is the big predator tank. Community predator tank, which is crazy. Um, I added a new fish in here. I put a big, uh, it's called a fat sleeper goby. Dormitator maculatus um, is the real name of it. Still got all the other guys. I moved the uh, Jardini back in here. He actually just went nuts because I was cleaning the glass. He just hit his head on the wall and so did the both in. Um, but they're both idiots. Um, that new fish kind of hides, so I'm going to take some blood worms and uh, just kind of jingle them in the tank and let them kind of melt down here. Um, once the blood worms start kind of flowing through the tank, um, that rip saw catfish and that fat sleeper goby should both come out um, but I've got the umbu puffer in here the bowfin the uh, prochilotus there's the goby right there tell me that thing isn't a wicked fish like I said they call that a fat sleeper goby freshwater um, dormitator maculatus you can't take them brackish um, just like the tiger datinoids, but who wants to go brackish? You can't mix them with anything. So, anyways, yeah, the Umbu's in here, the tiger dats, that goby, the bowfin, the jardini, who is looking good aside from just bouncing his nose off and tearing his fins up right now when I was cleaning the glass. He looks very nice. Um, the azul peacock bass, the prochilotus, I already said. Um, that rhino pleco is still down there. Oh yeah, there's the ripsaw catfish right there. The ripsaw is still in here. Um, and the tire track eel, there's like a foot and a half long tire track eel hiding under this center log right here. Right there actually, his tail's down by that rhino pleco, but... Yeah, this tank is pretty killer. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I may end up getting rid of the cichlids. I don't know what I'm going to do, but something's going to have to change. Obviously, not all these guys can stay in here. I'm thinking about taking the Jardini, the Bowfin, who is getting huge. You can see he banged his head up when I was cleaning the glass, too, like an idiot. But uh, he's pretty big. I mean, I've had that Rhino Pleco. That Rhino Pleco is pretty large. I've had him for, like, two years, and this Bowfin's already this big. Um... But yeah, the Bowfin, the Jardini, and this big old Gobi. I'm thinking about moving into the aggressive cichlid tank and getting rid of the cichlids. Just because they're a little more rare, a little more exotic. But I'm not positive on that yet because I really like, you know, the bigger aggressive cichlids. Um, but if I did that, you know, that would kind of leave it a little better off in here with the tiger datinoids, that peacock bass, the procha lotus, um, the imbu puffer. And the rip saw catfish down there. Right now, everybody gets along um, fairly well. The bowfin and the Jardini will get into it. That's kind of why I want to move them out into their own tank. Um, but everybody else gets along fairly well. You know, unless the peacock bass grew to where it could eat the uh, tiger datinoids, he could stay in here for a while. But... The Umbu is not aggressive really towards any fish, so he'll be able to stay in here as well as the Tiger Datinoids and the Procha Lotus. They're fine. They're, you know, non-aggressive. Um, actually, the Ripsaw Catfish too, but these bigger guys, um, they become a problem. You know, not necessarily with aggression aside from the Jardini and the Bowfin. This Gobi is not really a problem aside from he gets, you know, big enough to eat these guys if he grows too fast. Really, all of these fish, if they get too big too fast, they're going to eat the other ones. So, we'll see how it plays out. I'm going to have to move some stuff around. I explained in the African video, I explained in this video, you know, a lot of guys comment like, oh, that tank's not big enough. You can't, yeah, obviously, we're not going to keep these fish in here full tilt. I'm not going to have, you know, 10 fish that will all breach two feet in a 120-gallon 4x2x2 tank. What I will do is grow them out in here and separate them as time goes on. So... That's that. But for the time being, you know, there's plenty of space in there. Low levels of aggression. And, uh, you know, 
You ain't gonna see him mix like that really anywhere else. I mean, where you gonna in Blue Puffer, Tiger Dads, Proch Lotus, Jardini, Azul, Peacock Bass, Tire Track Eel, Fat Sleeper, Gobi, Bowfin, Ripsaw, Catfish. I mean, good luck finding that somewhere. And on that note, Surreal 303 out.